90% of PhDs in industry are worthless. Well, at least that's what I was told by somebody who had been a successful industry executive for more than 20 years. Now, as a PhD myself, one who's built a pretty successful career in industry, my first thought was, bullshit, that's not true at all. But I had to admit, I've heard similar sentiments. I've talked to a number of industry managers who've expressed concerns about hiring PhDs, but I'd certainly never heard it stated in such a blunt fashion. So I, I wanted to know what was behind such a blunt comment. Here's what I was told. Three reasons. First, they think they're smarter than everyone else they're working with. Second, they always find fault, not solutions. And third, they always want to keep analyzing the problem and never make a decision and move forward. Well, I had to admit, I have worked with PhDs that have some of those bad habits. Heck, at times, I've been guilty of it myself. Turns out there's a bit of a stereotype in industry about PhDs. They're highly valued for their technical skills, but they're also known for some habits they pick up in academia that can make them hard to work with. And like I said, I had to acknowledge I've been guilty of some of that myself. So I realized this was a great opportunity to think about my own work habits and think about what I could do to make sure I'm a better employee. So I came up with three guidelines and I want to share them with you so that you can avoid being a stereotypical PhD or so you can make sure that you are one of the 10% and not one of the 90%. First, don't be the expert. It's easy when you've spent so much time going to school to feel like you're probably smarter than the other people around you who haven't gone to so much school, who haven't spent so much time studying. That just doesn't work in a team environment. But graduate school teaches you to become the expert. That's the way academic careers are built. Uh, you, you build an academic career by being the expert in some field. But that just doesn't work in a team environment. Industry is built on teamwork where everybody has some expertise and everybody has something they need to learn. Second, don't be the naysayer. It's easy in graduate school to pick up the habit of finding fault with others' ideas. Heck, that's actually part of the scientific method. You make an observation, something you don't understand, you develop a hypothesis that you hope explains it, and then you try and find problems with it. You try and find fault. You invite others to, uh, to look at your problem and test it and see if they can find out what's wrong. So it's not surprising that we tend to develop that habit. But again, it doesn't work in a team environment. Working at a company is all about creating a solution and moving that forward as quickly as possible. And in a team environment like that, it's important that everyone feels like you are on their team. Of course, you need to find the problems with the solution. Finding fault has an important, uh, an important place, but that can't be your primary attitude. Everyone on your team needs to feel you are with them all moving in the same direction. It's just a different culture than academia. Third, have the courage to make a decision and move on. Academia also trains us PhDs to collect lots and lots of data and do lots of analysis until we are absolutely certain. Uh, this is very important. If we don't do that before we defend or before our VIVA, our committee or our examiners are going to tear us apart and we could fail and that would be terrible. So it's understandable that we develop that habit. Industry is different though. In an environment where you have customers waiting for a product and investors who are looking for a return, it's imperative you move forward quickly. That often means making decisions before you have all the data you might like to have. Turns out it's way better to get to 90% certainty and move forward knowing you can fix the problem when you find it than it is to keep analyzing until you get to 99.999% data. That simply takes too long and it will make your manager upset. One of the quotes I really like out of my book, Turning Science into Things People Need, is by Jason Encher. And he says, work quickly and find out what doesn't work so you can find out what does. I think that's really important and that's something I try and keep in mind when I'm at work. If you want to be the kind of PhD that your manager rewards and promotes, rather than the kind of PhD who frustrates their manager, follow these three simple guidelines. First, be effective, not just smart. Second, find solutions, not faults. Third, be decisive, not perfect. Industry doesn't want scholars, industry needs solutions. Make sure that you are part of the solution and you won't end up with a manager who says all PhDs are worthless. So thanks for watching. Let's get out there and turn science into things people need.